Hey folks, Jonathan here. Uh, early morning, just turned daylight. I'm having trouble getting my camera to keep from fogging up, so hopefully it won't. But I uh, didn't really make any plans to do any kind of videos today, but I figured I'd do a vlog, which uh, I guess is a video log. Uh, just random stuff that's going on today. Uh, got quite a bit going on. I wanted to get my truck lettered, the new four-door truck. And I priced getting it lettered the way that my newest wrecker I built was lettered and I ran into some issues I didn't like the price uh, the guy that done the lettering on the truck don't do it anymore so I decided to uh, you know just take some pictures with some measurements and send it to uh, a place that uh, well actually a couple of places that made letters and you know we're, we was looking at close to five hundred dollars for letters and I I got to thinking about it and I said, well, I wanted to do the letters on this door. And then uh, I've got a sign right here that came from a, a buddy of mine. He gave me that sign when he quit his record business, but he passed away after that. And I've been wanting to do this sign. You know, part of his number's on it, which I can leave and then add mine. And, you know, we, uh, he wanted me to have that sign. So I need to get the, uh, the rest of the letters on it. I've got another truck I've got to do as soon as we get it painted and then uh, it was just it was more feasible for me to buy a plotter which is a printer that cuts the letters so that's what I done and we I done my first one last night just as a test piece for this door because I really wanted to uh, just see if I could you know do it and make sure I could you know was able to so we're gonna try to put these on I'll show you what they look like here and wipe this uh, fog off the camera okay here's my first uh, first set of letters uh, looking back on it I wish I would have made my hardware shorter I mean it really don't matter it's not a big issue but that's what we're uh, that's what we're putting on there so we're gonna get them on and I'll show you what they look like okay we got them on we're gonna wait a little while you know I was always taught when you put these on uh, you take some water and uh, window cleaner mixture and spray the window just a little bit put them on and then you can still move them around we was able to move them that way we can get them exactly even where we wanted them and then uh, you squeegee it out let it dry a while and then uh, you take the uh, tape off we'll probably give it an hour or so and we'll see how it turns out I want to show you the grill guard here this is uh I might have showed this one time before I thought maybe this was something that somebody had made this is for like a 46 Chevrolet pickup and uh, it was actually my understanding uh, the guy I got this from, an old guy, he told me that this, uh, he remembered when this came from a dealership in Southern Pines, Pinehurst area, uh, not too far from me. The guy had bought a, some kind of a tool bed on the back of his truck and through the dealership and had the dealer put, you know, or, or bought this also through the dealer, but this was an aftermarket product. I thought at first that maybe somebody just made it. But I actually found other ones online, and uh, pretty rare though. But uh, I thought that was neat. It'll be good for something. We'll hang it up or something. But uh, I think 46 Chevrolet is what it what it was on. Uh, another thing too, I uh, got new boots. So uh, well, I'm gonna say new boots. I guess they're slightly slightly used boots. But uh, military. That's what I use or what I wear is the military boots. And my wife bought these for me because she knows I'll, I'll keep wearing the boots I'm wearing until there's nothing left of them. And I don't know if anybody's seen them, but there, there wasn't much left of them. So, so I'm fighting ankle uh, blisters and hurting. And, you know, when you break in a new pair of boots. And, uh, of course, my back's hurting this morning, too, which is normal. So, uh, anyway, we'll, uh, we'll get at it here. Okay, another thing I've been working on is this International. I had to straighten my bumper out yesterday. Uh, it had been bent for a long time. And finally got around to doing it. I've still got a running board issue. Uh, this is the main reason that I am working on the four-wheel drive wrecker. Uh, this thing gets taken, or used to get taken. I haven't done as much lately, but uh, used to get taken a lot out into the tank trails on Fort Bragg and... Uh, that's what you end up with stumps and everything else so these trucks sit too low so that's why I was doing the four-wheel drive but uh, I've got to change this outer tire and the front right one but we cleaned it up a little bit yesterday 
that's the thing about rotation you know this truck ends up sitting a lot uh, I actually ordered four new dolly tires because they keep going flat of course and uh, I think I've got a chunk out of one of them so uh, they're cheap I think 108 bucks for all four rims and tires and uh, so the good ones will keep for spares and uh, anyway so this truck I bought I didn't do much of anything to it uh, just besides putting the letters on it and you know the mater was already on it uh, the 24 hours was already on it and the hooking ain't easy on the fender it was already red so I just stuck our letters on it now this is you know another reason I'd, I'd love to paint this truck later on and straighten it up and put some of the new letters on it but uh, it was you know pretty good truck I had to do some repair on it I actually put these score for these fenders on it and the bed had some cracks and beats and stuff in it and I fixed and uh, actually on both sides and uh, anyway so we had to put one new cable on this one and where I had broke it I do a lot of mobile home pulling with this thing that I probably shouldn't do uh, the last quite a, quite a few of the last ones I've been doing I've been using my my other truck the uh, the homemade wrecker it seems to do a lot better but this thing paint wise is pretty rough I don't know if you can see this or not but this was already done uh, this is where somebody touched it up and it's run and as you can see they painted this and the quarter fender I mean the hood was busted and they didn't fix the hood before they they painted it so I mean you know it's just a pretty old beat up truck an old Tiger, he's about had it. I pressure washed him a little bit yesterday, but I don't think he's going to make it. So. And let me see. Here's our new quarter fender, or used quarter fender for our other rollback. So we'll be getting it on soon and painting it. Now, when I bought the paint for the four-door truck, I bought enough that I could paint the other truck too. So we've got paint for it. And so we'll get it painted here soon. And... Uh, I'm going to get at it and uh, you know, like I said, I'm, I had no plans to videotape so whatever comes up we'll videotape. Uh, got a lot of wrecks here, I'll show you one. Okay, here's a new Camaro uh, wreck. Now this car, believe it or not, hit the back of, uh, zoom in, that car. So I got both cars from the wreck. But uh, one was a customer request and one was a uh, highway patrol call. But uh, so I've been really busy. I've got more more wrecks out back. Uh, just uh, been a really really busy time here. So, which I'm you know I'm not complaining. Don't get me wrong. I, you know, I don't ask for anybody to wreck, but I just ask when they do wreck that I get them. <laughs> It's pretty selfish, but anyway. Alright. Now right, here's another one I'll show you. I picked this up the other night. Uh, guy hit a back of a log truck. Now you can see where it hit the front end. That would have been the bar under it. But this shows you how far the logs were sticking out. The log went through the windshield. And there's some uh, bark. And it jammed into the back seat. Now, luckily, there was only a driver in this, and nobody got hurt. But uh, that—that uh, that means that log would have been at least 15 feet, maybe 12 feet behind the uh, behind the truck. And I mean, that's really getting dangerous. Really dangerous. So uh, I mean, it's not good to hit the back of a truck, but it's not good to have the log sticking out so far that it's gonna you know impale somebody okay so sometimes you run into problems uh, my one inch impact will not touch these lugs anyway so here's what we've got I've got a homemade bar, uh, breaker bar that I had made I welded a socket to a piece of solid two inch and then uh, we've got this bar here which is I don't know ten foot long maybe so we're gonna try to break them loose and we will see what happens. Hope for the best here. Let me 
breaking. Is it coming loose or something? <laughs> well, there you go. I just broke a, a nice big impact socket. So, and that wasn't a cheap socket either. I had just welded it onto this pipe. So, I don't know. Gonna have to try it another way. I don't know why anybody would put lug nuts so tight, but just the uh, the average day right okay I don't have any more good sockets so I think what we're gonna do we're gonna fix this socket and then uh, we'll get it back together and try it again now the reason that I had welded that socket to that bar to start with is because I was having trouble breaking uh, three-quarter uh, ratchets and three-quarter breaker bars and these things i'm telling you just i don't know who tightened them up i haven't had this wheel off i don't think i've had either front wheel off so we'll probably do it on both of them but uh you know it's the first time i've had to pull them so uh anyway i'm making a sleeve for the socket now and i'll show you okay this is the biggest diameter material i had i, was, I wish i had something a little bigger but that's going to leave us about a, almost a quarter inch wall i believe so it should be fine get this board out, slide it over that socket, weld it on. Now we can't weld the socket up because it's uh, there's not going to be room to put the sleeve on if we do that. So we'll get this finished up. Okay folks, I got the letters finished up. I don't know that I like the big hardware. I think I'd rather have it a smaller letter. But you know this was uh, this was my first try at this so it's hard to judge when you're messing with a something you know it's four inches long on the computer and you know getting a real good idea on it but looks good I like it still haven't got the back wall inside finished up or anything so I'm really busy but uh, there it is had a uh, lady come clean out a car and release it I had to deal with that and then uh, getting ready I've got to go tow a dump truck but I'm in here machining too so as soon as I get this piece machined out for the socket we'll get a dump truck it's uh, just a small one but I think it's loaded but it really don't matter uh, it's not big enough to have enough weight to affect anything so all right show you more okay we got it really tight i've got it started we may be able to get it on with sledgehammer but we may end up having to heat it uh good chance of it anyway Yeah, I don't see it going on. It probably started because it was a little bit hot from cutting it on the lathe. But uh, I don't have any oxygen. But I'll just use the propane and see if I can get it hot enough to, to get it to go on. Right, we'll let that sit there a minute. I don't like doing it like this because it's already on the piece. So hopefully they don't both expand, but we're going to see what happens. Not a good situation though, I should have heated it first, but it's so hard to get a measurement on that socket because it was broke. Uh, I was doing a little guesswork along with it, so I knew it was stretched out. I mean, I want it to fit tight anyway, but we'll let it heat here a few minutes and then we'll, uh, we'll go from there. I haven't heated it a lot. But.
That's it. Now, let's see if we break that socket. I'll let it cool. I'm not even going to weld it. I'm just going to try one of them and see what happens. All right, lug nut removal, take two. Let's see what happens. Something's given, I don't know what it is. Hopefully it was the lug nut. Well there we go. I think that'll work. All right, let's go do a tow on a dump truck and then uh, we'll come back and finish this up. Okay, we got her. About a 14, 16 foot. But it ain't got much in it. You just got it loaded level with the with the bed. I just, at least he's got it tarped. Hopefully nothing will come out of it. All right, let's get out of here and get this thing delivered. Okay, folks, I'm back off the tow. I had to go a long ways. Uh, it wasn't a short tow, so it's nice and hot out. I don't know what time it is, but it's it's time to be hot, I guess. Uh, let's see if we can get these other lug nuts off. And I'll guarantee you that that pipe and stuff is probably 110 degrees, 120 degrees. So it's gonna be hot grabbing. It. I may have to find some gloves. See how far I went, and I still can't push it down. There we go. Entirely too tight. Way too tight.
All right, folks. Well, my socket didn't give any more trouble. Uh, I didn't weld it. I probably should have. But we'll, uh, we'll maybe weld it later. I'm probably going to need it on the other side, too. So. Anyway, worked good. I could have went and got a socket, but but then uh, I'd have just broke my breaker bar and then with a socket, and I'd be welding it on something and then breaking it. And they entire they was entirely too tight. I don't know who done this or why. The back ones were the same way. Uh, me and Bobby tried to get them loose, and we couldn't. And Bobby, of course, he's got heavier stuff than I've got. So we ended up uh, heating the nuts up, taking them off with the torch. Uh, we didn't burn them off. We just heated them up and took them off with the impact, and then uh, I replaced them. I put, I had another set to come off of a parts truck I put on. So uh, anyway, don't over-tighten the nuts up. But brake pads still look good on this thing. I've never put pads on it. Rotors don't look the best in the world, but they're, they'll last. I don't use the truck hardly any, so... All right, I'm going to get at it and get this tire changed. Sun's going down, and uh, as you can see, I haven't got the tire changed yet, but I had to do something else. All right, so something I don't get to do very often, but since it was hot and I was burning up out here in the sun, I decided to go ahead and work on the letters in the air conditioning. So I did get the letters on the doors. Uh, I, they're plenty big enough by law, but I wish I'd have made the A1 taller. Uh, I'm learning a lot. You know, this is a, a new experience to to do any of these letters, cutting them out and designing it and all. So, anyway, you know, it's not the same font or anything as the other ones, but uh, but we did get that much on there. Uh, both doors are done. I'm gonna do some other stuff on this though. I mean, I'm not done by any means, but but anyway, we got that far. But uh, let me get on tire, change this tire. The sun's finally went behind the trees anyway. All right, all right, we got us a tire on there. I'm just gonna put the Simulator back on and uh, we're gonna call it a night. Edit this video. I'll probably end up back out before the night's up with towing. Uh, towed the dump truck and then towed two cars today, so slow day for me. And uh, actually, uh, tomorrow uh, it's gonna be busy because I've already got some tows lined up for in the morning, so uh, that's the way it goes. But uh, anyway, I appreciate everybody watching and until uh, next time, bye.